arborday.org. The McGuire Center for Lepidoptera and Biodiversity opened in August of 2004, so we've been open just a little over a year. And the uh, main public attraction to the McGuire Center is the Butterfly Rainforest. And uh, it's a 6,400 square foot outdoor screened enclosure where we have live butterflies, uh, up to 2,000 butterflies at any one time. And visitors can walk through you know, the rainforest on the path and um, you know, get up close with the butterflies. We have 55 to 65 different species of butterflies at any one time. And, uh, I'd say about 95% of the butterflies are exotic species, meaning they're from other countries, with the rest of them being you know, uh, Florida native species. Well, we also have a rearing lab where the adult butterflies emerge and the visitors can watch that happen. Um, the way it works is we get two shipments a week of butterflies. Uh, they come in the chrysalis stage and they come from butterfly farms around the world and we pin them in the rearing lab and then uh, when the adults emerge, we release them into the rainforest. There are no host plants in the rainforest, so the butterflies aren't reproducing in there. That's a question that we, that we get a lot. Uh, this is the wall of wings uh, behind me here, and there's over 13,000 images on the wall of uh, scanned and actual Lepidoptera specimens. And um, as visitors continue into the public uh, gallery area of the McGuire Center, they can view into the collections and see scientists working. Uh, we have the Miami Blue project going on. Uh, the Miami Blue is an endangered butterfly um, that was believed to have gone extinct and a small colony was found in the Florida Keys. And we've been uh, breeding them and re-releasing them back into the wild. Yeah, we have an identification guide which lists some of the um, most common butterflies and plants that are in the rainforest and, um, you know, obviously we can list them all and, and they're changing too, you know, if you come and visit today and then come in, you know, eight weeks or six weeks, whatever, we more than likely will have some additional butterflies that you didn't see, you know, the previous time you were here. Um, in the winter, the there are several heating features. The sidewalk uh, walking path is heated, uh, it's radiant heating from underground so the path is warm. Uh, the water is also heated and um, we can circulate warm air into the, the rainforest. In the summertime we have um, a way to circulate cool air. Uh, it's not, you know, it's still pretty warm in there. It's, it's always warm in the summertime in, in the rainforest. We uh, saw about 250,000 visitors the first year that we were open, and that's kind of what we were what we were thinking uh, we would be able to to make. Um, you know, we hope to increase that obviously in in the coming years, and um, you know, it's it's proved to be very popular. I mean, we have people coming from other countries and uh, from other states and all around Florida. You know, a lot of lo a lot of local people coming also, but they when people come into town to visit them, they'll bring their family and friends, and we have a lot of people driving from Ocala, Lake City, uh, Jacksonville, Tampa, Orlando. There, this is the only, well, the, the research aspect of the McGuire Center, it's actually the world's largest research center now for Lepidoptera based on the number of curators we have working and the size of our collections. The butterfly exhibit, the butterfly rainforest part of it, uh, it really is the only um, similar attraction in North Central Florida. For more information about the Butterfly Rainforest, you can log on to their website at www.flmnh.ufl.edu slash butterfly. That's our show. Thanks for 